Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food. Milo says hi. <laughs> He's getting really, really heavy right now. Today I want to show you how to make one of the most requested desserts ever on my channel. It's lemon meringue pie. It's so good, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna show you a foolproof recipe that works every single time and it's just, it's one of the best. It's literally one of my favorite desserts. And finally I had time to make it for you guys, so thanks for waiting. And thanks to everybody who's been requesting it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. We want to reach 100,000 subscribers. Yeah! <laughs> and click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload the new video. Anyway guys, let's get started. Let's do this. Say hello. Right, first we're gonna make our sweet short crust pastry. So add your plain flour and icing sugar into a food processor. Then I'm adding cold butter. It needs to be really cold for this recipe to work. And then we're gonna blitz everything together really quickly until it resembles nice crumbs consistency. Then we're going to add all of this into a large bowl. Then add your eggs and mix everything together until the mixture becomes nice and sticky. If it is too dry, you can add a drop of water, but in this case, it shouldn't be. And then use your hand and roll out the pastry into a nice round shape, just like that. Then add more flour onto your surface, place your dough, Place your pastry and then sprinkle more flour and just roll it around several times just to make it nice and even. You don't want to overwork the pastry. Then we're going to place some cling film on top and wrap it around and then place it into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Next I'm going to show you how to make katouche. Katouche is a more of a technical term for parchment paper circle. So we're gonna fold it in half and then in half again. And then you're gonna pinch the corner from the side and then roll it downwards, just like that. Once it's done, you wanna take your cartouche and measure into your pan. So measuring it from the middle till the very end of your tin and then cut off around there. Then make little cuts across. This is just to help the cartouche fit in well into the corners of our baking tin. When you unwrap it you can just test it and it fits nice and well into your baking pan. Next I'm going to spray some cooking oil, you can also use butter and then add some flour. We want to coat the baking tray around to make sure that the pastry doesn't stick to our baking tray. Once your pastry has cooled down, you're going to sprinkle more flour, take your rolling pin and start rolling it out. Be quite gentle, do one side and then turn it around and do the other side. You want to make sure that you roll it out evenly. You might want to sprinkle more flour on top to make sure the pastry doesn't stick to your rolling pin or to the surface. Once it's all rolled out, you want to test with your pan to make sure that you've got enough pastry to cover the whole pan. Then take your rolling pin and wrap your pastry around. This way it's easier to transform it onto your pan. And then gently roll it out onto your pan. Thank you. 
make sure you tuck inside so the pastry doesn't break and just gently press into the pan. Then take your rolling pin and move it on top. Once it's done, we want to take a fork and prick the pastry all around the bottom. This ensures that the pastry doesn't puff up when you bake it in the oven. Then add your katush and your baking beans. You can use um, anything else that you have in the kitchen that doesn't burn. And we're going to bake the pastry for about 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Next I'm going to make my lemon filling. So add your eggs in a bowl and mix them gently. Then we're going to add sugar and mix that in again. Then add lemon juice. And lemon zest. And lastly, I am adding warm double cream into the filling. Mix everything gently and set aside. Once your pastry is baked, get rid of your baking beans and place the pastry back into the oven for about five minutes. Once your lemon filling is done, we want to sift it through and get rid of any lemon zest or bits that we don't want. And also you don't want to have any bubbles and it's much easier to pour the filling from a jug. Then add your filling into your pastry. So slowly pour that in, make sure you don't have any bubbles and it's much easier to do it straight away into the oven. So that way there is no accidents happening. And then we're going to bake this for another 20 minutes until the center is wobbly. Make sure you don't overcook your lemon tart. Now we're going to make our meringue. Add your sugar and water and glucose in a heavy bottom pan on a medium heat and stir to dissolve the sugar. Once it's dissolved, bring it to the boil and use a sugar thermometer to keep an eye on the temperature. When your temperature reaches 118 degrees Celsius, you want to start whisking your egg whites in a stand mixer on a medium speed and then keep whisking it until your egg whites become nice and stiff. Then transfer it all into a piping bag with a medium sized star nozzle and you can also make meringue in advance as it's cooked. Take your tart, loosen the edges and take it out from your pan. and then gently place it onto your serving dish. Then pipe your meringue on top of your lemon tart. You can decorate your pie the way you like it. I'm just adding little bubbles around and then into the middle where we're seeing a little bit of lemon. And then also I'm gonna add more meringue on top in the middle. Lastly, use a blowtorch and crisp it up. You want it nice and cooked and we want that beautiful color that you see right now. Guys, make sure to follow me on all my social medias like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter at Alice Yummy Food to get more behind the scenes and other stuff that I get up to. 
and finally serve your lemon meringue pie with tea or coffee the taste is unbelievable guys creamy lemony filling with crispy pastry and that fluffy meringue on top this is one of the best tarts I have ever made and I hope you make this recipe and if you do please tag me at Alice Yummy Food on social media and I'll definitely repost that. If you're looking for more recipes I have my website at aliceyummyfood.com and here you can find hundreds of other recipes that I have been doing for the last four years. Just scroll down, pick your favorite, click on the image and you will get the full recipe with video instructions on that page. Thank you guys, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and check out loads of other recipes that I have. Bye!